Hello. Welcome to Jared's Corner. Um, bear with me, this chair squeaks. Um, this episode won't be as long as the last one. I hope not. Um, but I just wanted to say a couple of things, which was, um, my feelings of the Star Wars 7 trailer. And basically it's... Looks okay. Um, first half to me looked like a fan film. And the other half looked pretty awesome. I don't really have anything else to say but that and people are laughing cool um but um yeah the trailer looks okay don't want a lot of expectations indeed um yeah, I don't want a whole lot of expectations just because I could be disappointed. And I don't want that, so be yep, I'm keeping my expectations low. Another thing is a suicide suicide squad film. Um Tom Hardy is playing a villain and um just wish it's like he already played Bane in the Dark Knight Rises. And uh, someone compared that to, like, Chris Evans, who was the Human Torch, and is now Captain America. It's like, no. <clears throat> Which is, like, kind of like, why do they do that? I mean, I don't know why they do that. Um, Tom Hardy is a good actor, so, hey. Whatever, um... Also, the bigger thing, though, to talk about with that is, um, Jared Leto as the Joker. Um, I think he'll be okay. Um, personally, I don't think he'll be better than Heath Ledger, but <clears throat> who knows. Like, Ben Affleck as Batman? I don't think he'll be better than... Christian Bale personally, but who knows? Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, things happen. It could be just they could be just as good as them, or maybe even better. I don't know. I will not say there will be either of them will be better than the previous actor who played them, but you know that's just another. conversation for another time like after the movies are out and discuss uh, I have a favorite Batman um, I I think uh, yeah my favorite Batman is Christian Bale Christian Bale only because um, he had the darkness that I wanted to see in Batman that I didn't necessarily see in the Tim Burton movies or <clears throat> any l film prior to the Dark Knight trilogy being made. Um, and for Bruce Wayne, uh, he showed so much emotion. Um, like There's like a, a certain vulnerability of him <clears throat> with guilt that he has because he feels guilty because of his parents' death. And then you see tragic continue work with the woman who he love he loves, and then she's gone, and he thinks they were going to <coughs> spend the rest of their lives together. They don't. And um, then the last one, you see how physically and emotionally damaged he is. Because <clears throat> of the years of being Batman, and uh, <clears throat> I am sorry. 
you know, I drank something earlier and that didn't help at all. So I might do it again. I drink something again later. I don't know. But I think um, Christian Bale had a lot of emotion. And uh, I just felt him. Like he, I felt like his Bruce Wayne was fantastic and he has to hide the anger and pain he has and he plays the playboy persona and um unleashes that he unleashes the anger and pain that is inside him when he's Batman and um, something else I want to address um because I could probably do this in another video of who, who I, why I think, who my favorite Batman is, which is Christian Bale, and a little longer reason why. Okay, um, but the I have noticed some people like had complained like the gap between. Dark Knight and the Dark Knight Rises. Like, he wouldn't, Bruce Wayne wouldn't stop being like Batman for that long of a time. And, um, I see where they're coming at, coming from. And, um, I think he was actually being Batman, like, three or four years after the Dark Knight. But he just didn't let the cops find out about it. Like, there might have been criminals who were beaten up and presented in a way that, you know, Batman would deal criminals so they could get them. But they didn't see Batman, and Batman was a fugitive, so they didn't see anything. Um, that's just my take, you know. I could probably elaborate on that a little more in the future, um, but I just wanted to make this um, j just for fun and to let the people who watch this know what I think about. Star Wars 7's trailer and um, Jared Leto as the Joker. Oh, and another thing for Ben Affleck as Batman. Uh, I think he could do alright. He could be um, as long as he tries he'll be better than Clooney. And, you know, I think as long as the script is decent and the direction is good, I think he could be an alright Batman. Um, I'm not going to say I want to see a series of Batman movies with him because we haven't seen him as Batman. And, um, yeah. Um, oh, something else. Um, like Christian Bale was said like he's jealous of Ben Affleck as Batman and I think what it is is he played Batman the longest so far for Batman movies and it's one of those things like where you've played a character so long like you in a way that becomes yours in some way because you know I felt he did a great job as Batman and, um, he, he's probably like, you know, the realization that it is finally over and done, you know. I mean, I th he knew it was over after the Dark Knight Rises. And he knew it was over when he heard Ben Affleck was going to be Batman. But I guess it just didn't fit truly 100%. 
100% set in with him, or at least a certain part of his mind that, um, because he said there's like a part of him like, like, you could do another one, you could do a fourth one, um, but it's like doing something for so long that you're good at and you, and, um, people, you know, took notice of how well you were at that and then, you know, you go and do something else and then someone else comes and takes over that position or role. And you just look like maybe it wasn't the right time to leave. Um, like you know, there may be a part of you that says that, but I think he was just um, uh, or at least a part of him, the part of him that was still like you could do this another movie, you could do Batman one more time. I think that was what it was, like the realization for that part finally commencing with okay, this really is over um, had a good run and it's done and I think it is a good way to I thought The Dark Knight Rises was a great way to end the trilogy and um, yeah, he did a great job as Batman and, um, you know, I hope he'll, he'll, he'll do, uh, great work later in the future. Um, which I'm sure you will do, because he's a great actor, so, I, um, you know, I wish... Christian Bale the best for his future work and I wish uh, Ben Affleck and Jared Leto as their roles uh, playing the yeah playing the Batman and the Joker and uh, I hope Star Wars 7 is good you know not a lot of high hopes just in case just so disappointment doesn't sit in. Um, yeah, I apologize for the voice and everything. And um, yeah, I don't. I don't really plan these things out. I mean, like with these videos. I mean, I do, but I don't like write a script or anything. Um, so if you see me going, uh, look around. I'm. I'm thinking, and I just want to make sure I know what I'm saying is right. Like, this is, this is what I want to say, and it's not just something that just kind of, bleh. Because all this news is old, or at least older, and I just, I guess I like to take time to process things and find a way to actually make a video about it. I hope this video is decent to you, and you like it, and if not, well, that's okay. Probably other videos that are better than than that is um, describing all this than I. But if you found this entertaining and interesting, just to see uh, someone's different opinion and perspective on things, then all right. everywhere. I'm scary right now. Yeah, anyway, um, um, I don't know if I'll make another video like this, or, uh, maybe I'll do, an, make another video of something else. I don't know what that would be. I mean, I have an idea, but, uh, whether it'll happen or not is a different story. Um, and I don't want to mention anything because it might not happen. So, yeah. Anyway, um, this is Jared's corner, and um, that's all I've got to say. So, um, thank you for watching.
Peace out.